Thank you so much for staying with us on Astra Wani. You're with me, Syed Fadino Omar, and you are, of course, watching In Realty. In the first segment with me, we'll be talking about money, how to make money, and where should we plonk our money in case we were thinking of investing in property, commercial, residential, what are the current themes and trends that you should be looking out for this year. So, to help us answer our question, well, we spoke to him last year and he gave us very good insights on what to expect in 2012. Let's see what he has to say in 2013. I'm, of course, with uh, Praveen Singhi, the CEO of Zerian Properties, which is currently celebrating its 11th anniversary. Praveen, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, it's Dino. It's always awesome to start off uh, uh, any year talking to you because that will give us an idea of what's going to happen. So if I ask you to look into your cauldron right now <laughs> and pull out your three predictions or themes, main themes for this year, what would it be? I think the three main themes that have gone is um, invest where there's a lot of infrastructure and money going in by the government, mm -hmm. invest in integrated developments, mm -hmm. and invest in branded, uh, prop, either branded residences, branded properties, or branded developers. Right. I think this would be my three themes moving forward this year. I see. Okay, yeah. well, let's break them down one by one. So yeah. in the first one, you said basically where the government is looking, that's where you should also be looking at, yeah? I would think so. I mean, uh -huh. I think in the Klang Valley, if you look at the... Uh, Klang Valley uh, MRT. Mm -hmm. I think if you invest at close proximity of where the stations are, I think that would be a good trend to follow. Mm -hmm. right? So locations like Sungai Bulo, Tamantun, Kota Damansara, uh, Damansara Heights, um, moving on to Charas, Kajang, mm -hmm. I think those would be the locations to invest in. And of course Central KL as well because that's where a lot of investments going in. Mm -hmm. And um, if you move south to Johor, that's where a lot of uh, Investments have taken place and already the property market is doing very well there. So I still do see opportunities coming in uh, in Iskandar in, uh, region as well. Right, I see. But it's very common sense for you, for one, to think that, okay, we should invest where there would be amenities and facilities. Yes. MRT being definitely one of yep. the more sexy ones these yep. days. But when you say where the government is going, I'm sure it's more than just the MRT line. It is. I mean, I think in the Greater Klang Valley, it also comprises a lot of um, uh, redevelopment, redevelopment, uh, redevelopment, right. redevelopment yeah. of the city. Things like uh, they're doing on the River of Life, mm -hmm. um, the redevelopment of the Medan Pasar area. Mm -hmm. For commercial investors, that's a great location to look mm -hmm. at where Central Market is, right? Um, putting up the Heritage Trail. So these are the locations that one should look mm -hmm. at into where the government, uh, where where one should invest in. Right. Yeah. Okay. And of course, uh, one prob possible example of this is Bangsa South, where the entire uh, area is being redeveloped. Right. That Bangsa South is a great location. I mean, I think it's it's uh, access to public transport, it's mm -hmm. access to the main highways is a great sell. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So right, that was the first one, which is uh, looking at the government, uh, where the government is uh, uh, yeah. going. Uh, and the second one earlier that you mentioned was, was integrated developments. Integrated, yeah. I think a lot of people would, you know, uh, especially now with the heightened urbani urbanization of mm -hmm. the country, I think a lot of people would like to live in an integrated development because so they don't have to come back and, oh, forgot bread, mm -hmm. right? And then they have to get into the car and go out again. But I think what they would like to live is in an integrated development, take the lift down, go down, walk mm -hmm. maybe about five minutes, get whatever they need and mm -hmm. go up. And at the same time, it could be where they work as well. So they I, live, work, play, all at the same place. I have a huge concern about this because this means the end of walking. Well, I mean, but <laughs> but you see, you know, we don't live in a in an environment that allows us to walk long distance. The tropical. It uh, is weather, not a walking city. It, it's it's it, not a it, walking country because of the heat. Of the heat. I mean, the, I mean, it's the same thing. You know, the government spending a lot of money in the city to make it more conducive for walking. Yeah. Right. Making it safe, making it dry, making it cool. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's good. You know, it just connects the city, mm -hmm. makes it more pleasant for all of us. Um, Yes, I, I love walking, but if you ask me to walk from here to another client's office, which is maybe 10 minutes walk, mm -hmm. I'll come there looking all sweaty and horrid. <laughs> yes. So yeah, so you know, uh, that's why I think integrated developments would do very well. Mm -hmm. Or even proximity to integrated developments. I mean, uh, if you look at now why Mid Valley is doing very well, it's because it's an integrated development. Right, it's why, a city on its own yeah, almost. Yeah. Right? Why the whole KLCC area would do very well is because it's integrated, it's got hotels, it's mm -hmm. got offices, it's got residences, and it's got amenities. Right, so you, we're not just talking about apartments sitting on top of malls, no. but it's more than that. It's yeah. also offices being in the same uh, vicinity as uh, commercial spaces, yeah? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So integrated, you know, I think. and it doesn't have to be just one structure, it could be an integrated area as well. Uh -huh. I think that's also important. 
Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, in terms of um, developers, where they are going, are they also moving towards creating more products as such? Yes, I think a lot of developers are looking into bigger pieces of land bank mm -hmm. to create integrated. Uh, projects. Uh, look, there will be opportunities for standalone products as well. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's nothing wrong, especially standalone products with close access to these amenities, mm -hmm. right? And I mean, the one of the reasons the government was trying to link up all the buildings and the main icons in the city via the Spanish train was to integrate all of it, mm -hmm. right? So I think that that was the that that's why integrated that's the developments. Idea, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. And moving on to the third one, uh, branded uh, properties. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, suddenly we, you know we're brand conscious as a. No, I, I don't <laughs> think we are. I think it's just a progression of uh, the city, mm -hmm. right? And not just the city, I think even uh, the, the investor profile that's coming into, mm -hmm. the, into the city. Um, if, if you look at how well Banyan Tree residences did. Mm -hmm. I think that's already an indication that the market's ready. And this year, we, you know, they're going, planning to launch the W residence, mm -hmm. right? They're planning to launch the Four Seasons residence. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Ireka is going to launch Ruma, mm -hmm. which is using the Puli Hotel from Shanghai as a concept to launch their residences. And then I, I do see many of this taking uh, taking place already. Look, it's already available in and around. Uh, in and around Southeast Asia. I don't see that we are brand conscious. I think it's natural progression that people want to live in, in a certain quality yeah. and certain services. I also see you know, strong brands being the developers themselves. Yeah. Right. I think uh, leading developers who have a strong track record of built their brand, mm -hmm. I think sticking with them, you won't go wrong as well. Right, I see. Yeah, right, so I, I, see. I think that's a... It's not, not not just about the name that appears on the apartment door, but also the name that appears yes. on the board where the developer's Correct. name should appear. Who, who's who's okay. doing it, right? I mean, look at Battersea, right? Fantastic. SP Satya, Saim Darby, EPF. 400 units reserved for Malaysians sold over a weekend. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I, I don't think because it's Battersea, mm -hmm. I don't think I it's think because it's, of London, yeah. right? I think it's because these brands are very gave strong comfort, brands, yeah. yeah. Gave comfort yeah. to the investors that yes, I think this could buy it would be delivered. I see, yeah. I see. It might cost more. Uh, entry might cost a bit it did, more it because did. it is branded. Yes. Just like buying any other branded goods. Yeah. Yeah. But you are assured of certain things, yeah? Yeah. But going through these brands. Okay. Um I, I'm sorry to have to rush you, but no there's problem. so many things we want to talk sure, about here. Please. Uh direction. Uh yeah. last year we spoke about uh, the expansion of KL moving northwards. Anything on top of Damansara heading towards Singapore is a good area to look at. Yes. But are we still going to neglect the south now, or what's the direction? Where are we going? I think after the government proposed the K K Klang Valley MRT and with the three stations in Kajang, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of traction in the south, mm -hmm. right? I think there's also a lot of pull in. Uh, from Cyberjaya, mm -hmm. right, and SP Sati has also invested in Semenye. So I think there's going to be traction mm -hmm. in the south as well. There would still be growth on towards Sungai Bulo, right, because that's where the K Klang Valley MRT heads, right. uh, heads uh -huh. off to, where uh, EPF, the Kwasa land development mm -hmm. is there. So I definitely, I, I see there's a uh, pool. But this is a great, for central, great thing for Central KL. Because what you'd see is KL is growing, mm -hmm. but at the same time with the um, MRT lines, mm -hmm. it actually connects people who can live outside KL and work in KL. Mm -hmm. The things you mentioned earlier, uh, are we leaning more towards residential properties or commercial properties here? Or is it equal opportunity in, in development and growth here? I would reckon there's equal opportunity, mm -hmm. right? Uh, notwithstanding in central KL per se, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I do see a lot of opportunity in um, the office sector, mm -hmm. right? By virtue of what's happening uh, in the in the ETPs and the mm -hmm. EPPs in the city, right? So, but it's very hard for one to invest directly into a grade A office building. It's very expensive, of course, yes. Right, and uh, strata opportunities of grade A office buildings are hard to come by. Mm -hmm. So, investing in REITs are an option as well, right? Right, right? Yeah. you know, mm -hmm. to to get yourself exposed, you know. You want to be exposed, let's say, to where Bukit Bintang Pavilion Mall, Pavilion offices, buy Pavilion Reed, mm -hmm. right? You're a part owner, it's professionally managed, and you get your rentals. Right. You know, right. So, so that's another way of looking I, at it. Yes, I, I okay. think um, uh, investing in some of the REITs, which exposure to the city centre, mm -hmm. I think is a great idea as well. Okay, we, we only have about 30 seconds left before my producer starts doing this right. for us to um, wrap up. Um, uh, of course, we all know that 2013 is uh, a year that might just um, uh, explode simply because it's election year. So a lot of buzz is happening even now as we speak. Uh, what are the key considerations for investors leading up to pre, during and post election considerations? I think there's only one consideration to have mm -hmm. that real estate is a long-term investment. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. You know, it's 
Okay, that's it. Now, yeah, because it's long term. It's now it's, or later. It, yeah, it's going to be it, the same because it, it, you it's look a long term result, investment. Long term. Yeah. yeah. So and uh, the impact of elections on real estate. I mean, you, even if you look at uh, the previous election mm -hmm. and even in states that had changes, mm -hmm. real estate prices were not made were not impacted right, because right. it's a long it's a long tail investment. Right. It's right. not a short tail. So investment. we don't have to wait until after the, uh, the no, elections. To I see. think I think your decision whether to buy now or not is how cheap your loans are right okay. i think that should be your right. consideration got it right? okay yeah. see something you like if the price is good and the loan, loan uh, the interest loans, is great right? then yeah. go for it yes yeah, yeah. okay well right. we're gonna go for it thank, thank, thank you. you so much for your time thanks you know, it's uh, a so we, we will um, definitely see you again in 2014 okay. <laughs> see what your uh, <laughs> what your predictions are big okay. cauldron yeah okay uh, that's it from me in the first segment as usual in the second and third segment you are going to be with lena wati adnan so stay with us on in realty